New overnight, a new speaker finally elected. It took a historic vote. We've got the details this morning. Also, reigniting history, how a local company was able to recreate an iconic neon light along State Street. And we got low clouds and maybe some fog out there, even some flurries. I'll time out when we might see an improvement on that and how warm we will actually get by next week. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us here on Weekend Mornings. I'm Shane Hogan. He's Greg Barnhart. We've got a lot to get to, uh, to this morning, but let's get a check on that weather because right now pretty mild, pretty quiet, and I think at this time of year we'll take it. Uh, I think you would. Yeah, <laughs> because it could, could be, be a lot worse, oh, right? Oh, yeah, it could be sub-zero. <laughs> right now, actually, if you look at uh, satellite right now, most of the west is looking good. Obviously, the west coast is getting hit by another atmospheric river. But for us, we're actually fairly quiet weather, but not all quiet. A lot of clouds still going on. Some of the clouds up to the sea in many in Minnesota, that's actually the cold temperatures they're having. But right now, if we zoom in even further, you can kind of see as we get temperature-wise, it's about 18 in Madison all the way to sub-zero as you go further west across. But there is that low stratus or low clouds that are pretty much overhead for most of the locations right now and that is what we're kind of dealing with visibility overall we're not too bad but underneath of that that's where it's showing the cloud cover that's really what we're dealing with some spots that might see some visibility but overall we got a little bit of flurry or mist action going on with some of the slow clouds but radar is not going to pick up on that because it's very light but still it's something out there overall for Madison clouds will actually try to break up this afternoon I'm hoping they will, but it'll be a struggle. We'll get up to around low 30s for temperatures, which is about average, a little bit above. La Crosse has a better shot seeing the sun. They don't have as much clouds up there. They'll get to the mid 20s. Once again, close to average, all areas may see that fog. Once again, you see temperatures drop off this evening. Travel impacts right now. Once again, just deal with that uh, patchy fog, but I think flurries and even the low clouds. And hopefully, Hopefully we'll see that sun this afternoon, <laughs> but it is difficult in January with the inversions to get yeah. that out. I'll time that out and actually break down how we might see 40 by next week, but later to broadcast. Now that's a tease I can get behind. Oh, yes. 40s in January, fingers crossed. Uh, yep. we'll, we'll see. All right, Greg, <laughs> thank you very much. We'll check back in. Breaking overnight, the House has finally elected a new speaker. California Representative Kevin McCarthy received enough votes to secure the speakership. It took 15 ballots, but McCarthy eventually got that support from his fellow Republicans. McCarthy claimed the speaker's gavel after midnight Eastern time, culminating four days of disarray in the House chamber. With McCarthy being elected, the new members of Congress were also finally able to be sworn in. We will have much more on the speaker election coming up in our next half hour. A piece of history is lighting up State Street again. The newly renovated Badger Liquor Shop sign was switched back on. The sign was reinstalled yesterday after being restored throughout the summer. Arman Rahman has more. that Madison's happiest corner just got a bit happier celebrate a rebirth of sorts of an 80 year old sign Badger liquor shops vintage sign is all shiny new and lighting up State Street again and this is a very iconic sign State Street's a very important part to the city of Madison but literally bending the lights back into shape was not an easy or fast process this one came down to the wire for Thomas Zicker of neon lab this as a matter of fact is the second half of the word Badger I just got several sheets of gigantic pieces of cardboard with random pieces of neon tape to it most of them were broken and very, very old because the sign was very old and it had fallen into a state of disrepair. Still over the span of a month, he handmade the light bulbs as bright as they once were. Number one, I take the original glass or what I have of it and I make patterns of that glass and then I have to back the patterns up to the can and try to get as close as I can. It has to fit very, very precisely. Zicker handled the lights, while Sign Art Studio out of Mount Horeb handled restoring the rest of the sign. Replaced like some of the rotted metal, um, all new paint job on it, and bring it up to a uh, current when it comes to electrical code as well. It was a challenge to not only repair it, but make sure it can withstand the elements for at least 20 to 30 years. It's had some attempts at servicing it and getting it working properly. But all the hands involved with bringing this piece of history back to the State Street marquee say it was worth it. The letter style, the font style, it's, um, it's timeless. It really is. Another interesting fact, they only got an idea of the age of the sign after Sign Art Studios found a tag which dated the sign 
back to the 1940s. How cool is that? All right, to more local news now, an update to a story from Thursday night. MMSD is now opening an emergency enrollment center for families impacted by one city school's decision to close its programs for ninth and 10th graders. The charter school's decision impacts about 51 students who will transfer into the Madison School District after closure on January 20th. The district had a meeting for families Friday morning sharing its plan to open that emergency center. New information management of the Maple Tree Supper Club in McFarland hopes to reopen the restaurant sometime in June after it suffered significant damage in a fire in October. In a Facebook post this week, restaurant management wrote that while a lot of work remains to rebuild, they're eager to get back to serving their customers. Medical marijuana may be closer than ever to getting approved in the Wisconsin State Legislature. Senate Majority Leader Devin Lemahieu told the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel that Senate Republicans are close to an agreement on a bill. They're nowhere close to full legalization, though, but carefully regulated medical marijuana could be a possibility. Also looking ahead, Governor Tony Evers plans to issue an executive order banning the popular social media platform TikTok from all state devices. It will likely happen next week. Lawmakers have expressed concerns about the platform's potential to allow the Chinese government to collect data from Americans while using the app. Around the state, a first for Milwaukee County, Dr. Danita Ball was officially sworn in Friday morning to become the 66th Milwaukee County Sheriff. But that's just the start of it. She's also making history by becoming the first female sheriff in the county and the first black female sheriff in Wisconsin history. Two UW-Milwaukee students were robbed at gunpoint outside a residence hall this week. Wednesday night, the university says a suspect approached the students, pointed a handgun at them, and took their belongings. No one was hurt, though, but police are still looking for the suspect. An update now, police in Portage arrested a 15-year-old girl Friday afternoon following a false active shooter threat at the city's high school earlier this week. The city's police department says the girl has been referred to Columbia County Juvenile Intake Authorities on tentative charges of making terroristic threats, swatting, and disorderly conduct. 806 now, the opening of a new lacrosse spa has not gone as planned, but its owners found a silver lining. Brilliant Bodywork Med Spa was supposed to open its new location on Monday, but the day before, a pipe in the ceiling burst and 1,000 gallons of water flooded the space. It was a complete disaster. The silver lining, though, several area businesses jumped in to help with the cleanup on New Year's Day, including some of Brilliant Bodywork's competitors. It's very heartwarming to know that this community is definitely there to kind of back each other. and. You know, people are willing to do what what they can to kind of help us out when kind of tragedy strikes with whatever their tools are. Spa employees are also helping. Brilliant Body Work will open for services on Monday at its new location in La Crosse, north on North 4th Street. A popular expo is returning to Madison this weekend. The 25th annual expo is back at the Monona Terrace Convention Center. It kicked off Friday and will run through tomorrow. The home expo features exhibits and demonstrations from local and national companies designed to help consumers through the process of home improvement. The best information you can bring is just, you know, pictures. This is what I want. This is what I'm after. And, you know, the goals what the end goal is, what they're looking to invest into the project so we can help them get there. If you want to go check it out, tickets are five bucks for adults and children under 18 are free. News 3 Now is a proud sponsor. In the Packers blowout win over the Vikings last Sunday, you might have noticed running back A.J. Dillon's touchdown celebration. In the fourth quarter, he celebrated by leading the rest of the offense as a conductor. That got the attention of Glenn Hayes, the director of bands at UW-Whitewater. He thought that if Dylan is going to conduct, he'll need a baton. And this one, Hayes says, was used himself at Carnegie Hall. I was hoping this would bring a, a smile to his face. And based on the Twitter, Twitter feed, I think it probably has. But I, I'm glad he appreciates it. It's uh, And as I said in my letter, you know, I've used that at Carnegie Hall. I hope he gets to use it at the most famous football game in the world. I'm sure if Dylan scores tomorrow in their big game, 
against the Lions. Maybe he'll bring it out. Uh, pretty cool there. Really cool story from around the state. Again, Packers tomorrow against the Lions. If they're in, they are, uh, if they win, they're in the playoffs. We'll have full coverage all Monday morning on News 3 Now this morning. All right, still ahead, all the weekend happenings here in Madison. And you're taking a live look over the Capitol this morning. A little foggy out there. Greg's back with the full forecast after this. This portion of News 3 Now is sponsored by RG Heating and Air Conditioning. It's the hy -Vee Mega Meat Sale this Friday through Sunday. Thick cut pork chops, four for just $5. hy -Vee Choice Reserve Round Roast, just $2.99 a pound. And hy -Vee Bacon, only $2.99. Only at hy -Vee. Attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. If you or a loved one were stationed at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune between 1953 and 1987 and were later diagnosed with cancer, Parkinson's disease, or other serious health effects, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call right now to find out if you qualify. Call 1-800-336-0524. 1-800-336-0524. New year, new you. Join Anytime Fitness and get 30 days free. Get more out of your membership than just machines. Because here, you can lift your weights and lift your mood. Now through January 31st, get 30 days free at Anytime Fitness. Hurry in now. I'm a Vegas hotel. I know what you're thinking. It's cool. I don't want anything too serious either. Just a fun, spontaneous thing. I'm looking for someone who will let loose. Dress up a little. See a show. Order the steak and the lobster. Some people say I'm excessive, but who cares? I'm just looking for a Saturday to remember and a Sunday by the pool. Think you can keep up? Only at Vanguard, you're more than just an investor. You're an owner. We got this big. That means that your dreams are ours, too. And our financial planning tools can help you reach them. That's the value of ownership. Don't miss the hy V Mega Meat Sale this Friday through Sunday. Fresh ground chuck, just $2.88 a pound. Fresh chicken breasts, just $1.68 a pound. And fresh burlasso Atlantic salmon portions, only $3.98, only at hy V. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Yeah, this time of year, we typically get a lot of inversions just because of the sun. The nights are longer, so it allows the, basically the surface to cool down enough and even warm air loft a little bit can create that inversion. You can get that stratus clouds that kind of stick around almost sometimes all day just because if you have little low-level winds that mix it up. So that's what we're kind of dealing with on and off probably for the next couple days. It is saturated towards surface, so we could see some flurries typically on and off a little bit. You'll just notice that off and on through the morning hours. So something we're going to keep an eye on. Like I said, it's not a big travel issue for say because it's more low clouds and actually fog but you still could get some of that still on and off flurries but no significant snow with this just something to keep in mind of we might not see a lot of the sun at times with the next couple days just because of that you see over time we're just going to see this pattern continue we have one little weak system that comes up from the north kind of as you saw it there that one we're going to keep an eye on and then sunday we have another little wave coming across too each really doesn't do too much other than keep cloud cover either high or low clouds overhead and the one tonight actually provides maybe an opportunity for a little bit of snow overall as we zoom in right now this probably depicts it too clear at 12 noon. I think we'll see more clouds than this, but overall we will see some breaks this afternoon. Then as you go on, you see temperatures get up to the mid upper thir uh, upper 20s to near 30 colder to the west, but you see as you get towards 8 p.m. you're starting to see the clouds form once again as the sun goes down. 
That'll probably expand overhead overnight, so we'll see more of that low cloud deck. Temperatures will fall back, kind of where we were this morning, not too far. We'll be around in the upper teens, maybe a little bit warmer out to the west just because they're going to have more cloud cover over Rochester. Right now they're below zero. I don't see them to be that cold. Tomorrow with the cloud cover, we're going to have to watch too, so we might have a little bit of flurries pull up from the north. Uh, from the south here as that system approaches. So something to keep in mind of, a little flurries, a little snow going on, but overall that won't be the big issue to just be the clouds as you wake up tomorrow morning. Hopefully tomorrow we'll start to break that up a little bit, but we're going to have clouds come right back in, probably higher clouds and even low clouds back in probably Sunday afternoon and Sunday night once again. So we're going to see some sun, just don't know how much we can see at this time of year. It's really hard to get rid of some of this. The next system we got coming up is going to lift up Wednesday, Thursday from the south. It's probably going to stay on the warm side. It doesn't look that impressive once again. Precipitation will probably expand Wednesday night into Thursday. Once again, rain and then maybe change the snow. It kind of lifts off fairly quick Friday. That doesn't look to be impressive either. Snow-wise, greater than three inches from Thursday to Friday. Not much probability of that going on, probably to the north, so we're not expecting much either. So even though we do have a system coming, I don't foresee much in the way of impacts right now with that. Overall, the positive news, if you like the warmer weather, we might see 40 degrees down here in Madison, maybe Monday, Tuesday, or even Wednesday. We'll keep an eye on that. La Crosse, maybe not quite as warm, but still well above average. Average is about 28, so we still should continue that warm trend throughout uh, January with the next chance of precipitation coming out Wednesday night and Thursday. So overall, we, we could be a lot colder. I mean, the records right now are about eh, 25, 26 below. Right. So we could be, yeah. but uh, we'll take this it. mild stretch of weather continues. And yeah. Pretty quiet week here up until maybe the end of next week. Yeah, none of these things are really that significant either. So okay. overall, not too much, but yeah, pretty quiet. All right, Greg, thank you very much. Well, hey, wrestling teams from across the country are hitting the mats at the Lacrosse Center. The 20th annual Clash Tournament attracts high school teams from Wisconsin and Minnesota, and this year teams from Connecticut, Arizona, and California. This is the first year the clash includes a girls team and singles bracket as well. An organizer says girls wrestling is exploding in popularity. I think the last two years we've seen a huge boom in the women's wrestling, especially at the high school and uh, amateur levels. So, I mean, the girls are seeing that on, you know, social media and all over the place. The Olympics were hugely popular. There are eight girls teams competing and 32 boys teams. The event runs through today. The final rounds start around four. The weekend happenings continue today in Dane County. The farmer's market is back. The late winter market at the Garver Feed Mill runs from 8 until noon, so just opened about 15 minutes ago. You can check it out every Saturday through April 8th. Almost 40 members will be there with seasonal Wisconsin favorites. For parking details, visit the Dane County Farmer's Market website. In Rock County, you can go on a candlelight hike today. Hosted by Janesville Schools and the City, today you can hike the Ice Age Trail. Just head to Storrs Lake Wildlife Area from 6 to 8 tonight. Anyone is welcome. Wisconsin native Butch Vig of the band Garbage and comedian Charlie Barons are taking the stage to raise money to fight against epilepsy this weekend. The Joey Song Foundation will host its ninth benefit concert tonight at 7 p.m. at the Sylvie. The foundation was established in 2010 in memory of Joey, who suffered from a rare and debilitating form of epilepsy known as Dravet syndrome. I mean, Joey's song here, I think, is kind of extra special um, because when I look out in the audience, there's, I'm probably going to know at least half the people there, which is pretty cool. If you're going to tailgate, they, I mean, they, this is not a brewer's tailgate, okay, where you're like, oh, I'll get in the middle of the second inning. No, okay, 7 o'clock, let's rock and roll. You still tailgate, but start at like 3. Well, you heard Charlie, get there early. The concert lineup also includes Portugal the Man, Dave Perner from Soul Asylum, Chris Collingwood from Fountains of Wayne, and more. And if you love donuts and beer, well, this event is for you. Donut Fest happening tomorrow from 1 to 5 at Delta Beer Lab. They want you to get tickets ahead of time. Kids are welcome. To get those tickets, you can head over to eventbrite.com. And if you like comics, well, tomorrow is the Madison Comic Book Convention. Not to be confused with Comic-Con, dealers from three states will be there to buy and sell and trade. It's, a mainstay, it's at the Mainstay Suites in Fitchburg. It runs from 10 to 4 and is free.
All right, still ahead this morning, an update on Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin after last Monday's scary situation. And there are several new shows and movies to check out this weekend. Will Loper is back to share his picks in three things to watch. Everyone is making room. <laughs> Seriously? For the medicine cabinet's new essential, Binax Now, with reliable COVID-19 results in just 15 minutes. This holiday season at the Century House. Give $50 or more to charity and get $200 off any stressless recliner with power, any stressless recliner in ottoman, or any stressless office chair. Or get $200 off each stressless sofa seat or $400 off all stressless Mayfair recliners and ottomans in all Paloma leather colors. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Is coming to the Monona Terrace Convention Center this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Meet the Madison area's top builders, remodelers, and home improvement experts at the Home Expo. See the best in custom remodeling, room additions, roofing, and flooring at the Home Expo. Kitchens, bathrooms, windows, doors. If it can improve your home, you'll find it at the Home Expo. The Home Expo at the Monona Terrace Convention Center, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Attention mothers, did you take Tylenol or other acetaminophen pain relieving products while pregnant? Recent evidence suggests children whose mothers took Tylenol while pregnant may be more likely to develop autism. Other acetaminophen products at risk include Excedrin, NyQuil, DayQuil, and other store brand pain relievers. Children with autism have a hard time interacting with others. Those on the spectrum usually begin exhibiting social symptoms by the time they're 8 to 10 months old. Call now for a free confidential consultation. Please call 800-379-7867. Do we still need these pregnancy tests? Everyone is making room. No! Yeah, no. For the medicine cabinet's new essential, Binax Now, with the same technology doctors use to test for COVID-19. Yeah, we're still dealing with the low clouds, and I think we will for several hours. Even in the afternoon, it may break up, but it's still going to be out there. That's the visibility with behind the image is actually the low clouds that are around there. So not a lot of visibility issues, but we still do have the cloud cover. Temperatures today should be up in the upper 20s for Madison area, mid-20s for La Crosse. Pretty close to where we should be this time of year overall, so that's the good news. We could still see that fog or low clouds once again tonight. Even some flurries or maybe some light snow in southern Wisconsin. And then temps look pretty good for the rest of the week. 40s, we're going to be above average and dry until we get to next Thursday. You can see in the 10-day, we might reach the 40 Tuesday, Wednesday. We have that next system Thursday. That doesn't look to be too strong. and We probably will be on the warm side, at least in southern Wisconsin. So mostly rain for that one. Same story for lacrosse, mid to upper 30s above average with that system impacting them less on Thursday, Friday, but still overall we'll see something there and the mild stretch of weather continues. There really is no sign that we're going to see any type of sub zero temperatures in at least the next couple weeks. Okay, Greg, thank you. Well, there's clearly no shortage of films and shows streaming nowadays. Our Will Loper sharing a few of the best in this weekend's three things to watch. See something cool? Bye. New to rent or buy on digital platforms is the film Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. 
Imagine tales of a wishing star of a single wish waiting to be granted. Kitties of Paws, I need your help. The Shrek spinoff starring the overly confident talking cat voiced by Antonio Banderas is a surprisingly fun adventure following Puss in Boots on his last life. Without life to spare, I am nothing. When you only have one life, that's what makes it special. Go get him, Tiger. Hey! Take it easy. Puss in Boots The Last Wish can be rented or bought on digital platforms now. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. With enough patience, a suspect will often interrogate himself. Newly streaming on Netflix is the film The Pale Blue Eye. What type of fella could do this? You have to be a bad man. Easy to decipher this. Christian Bale plays a detective solving a series of murders with the aid of none other than Edgar Allan Poe. Another cadet is missing. Poe, I need you to discreetly infiltrate the cadet. The Pale Blue Eye is streaming on Netflix now. Man will do most anything to cheat death. Genetic power has now been unleashed. We made a terrible mistake. And if you just want to watch some dinosaurs causing havoc, Jurassic World Dominion is now streaming on Amazon Prime Video. We created an ecological disaster. Humans now share the world with dinos, and Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard return, along with some familiar faces from the original Jurassic Park. If our world's gonna survive, what matters is what we do now. I can use your expertise. You coming or what? Jurassic World Dominion is streaming on Amazon Prime Video now. A baby raptor? I made a promise we would bring her home. You made a promise to a dinosaur. Yeah. Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for Weekend Mornings. As always, our thanks to Will Loper for putting that together. All right, coming up next this morning, a new speaker is elected. How the deal finally got done coming up. Get up to 80% off list prices during our huge inventory reduction sale at Slumberland Furniture. $20 million worth of furniture and mattresses must go. Lowest prices around on recliners, sofas, mattresses, and lots more. Slumberland Furniture. With an Invisalign smile, everything clicks. And that class reunion becomes... Is that Anna? Invis is the number one doctor-recommended clear aligner and more predictable results. Invisalign. All right, team. We got a big project coming up. And it all starts with ordering promotional products. I'm on it. 4imprint makes it easy to get the logo products you're looking for. The latest in apparel, drinkware, bags, high-tech items, and more. You can be certain of getting it right at 4imprint.com. Come on out. I'm on it. 4imprint. For certain. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brox Night Guard. Now the Brox Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brox Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to BroxNightGuard.com and order yours today. Who's on it with Jardians? Free, jump. We're the ones getting it done. We're managing type 2 diabetes <laughs> and heart risk. We're on it with Jardians. Join the growing number of people who are on it with the once daily pill, Jardians. Jardians not only lowers A1C, it goes beyond to reduce the risk of cardiovascular death for adults with type 2 diabetes and known heart disease. And Jardians may help you lose some weight. Jardians may cause serious side effects, including ketoacidosis that may be fatal, dehydration that can lead to sudden worsening of kidney function, and genital yeast or urinary tract infections. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. And don't take it if you're on dialysis. Taking Jardians with a sulfonuria or insulin may cause low blood sugar. A one-steady pill that goes beyond lowering A1C? We're on it. We're on it. We're 
on it with Jardians. Ask your doctor about Jardians. Why do dermatologists worldwide recommend La Roche-Posay? Effective skincare like La Roche-Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer delivers double action to help repair skin's barrier and provide 48-hour hydration for healthy-looking skin. La Roche-Posay. Up to 80% off list prices during our huge inventory reduction sale at Slumberland Furniture. $20 million worth of merchandise must go. Lowest prices around on mattresses, rugs, bar stools, sectionals, accent chairs, and more at Slumberland Furniture. Right now, a new Speaker of the House. After 15 ballots, Congress can begin its new session. Also, remembering those lost on January 6th. A ceremony held yesterday to honor first responders on that day. And we got clouds, some flurries out there this morning. We'll break down if we'll ever see that sun today later on and whether we'll see another repeat of this tomorrow and how warm it might get next week. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us here on Weekend Mornings. I'm Shane Hogan. We're going to get things over to Greg right now. Greg, you're kind of tracking some flurries coming down, even affecting some roads out there. But also, what else is in store for the upcoming week? Well, yeah, it looks fairly calm out there and quiet, but we do have some issues going on right now. Satellite doesn't show it much, although it shows the cold temperatures they had up in Minnesota. I think the nation's low yesterday was 23 degrees below up there in Minnesota. We're not going to get that. But if we zoom in, we can see temperatures right now, 19 degrees. It's much colder. You can see the below zero temperatures there. But we got some low clouds, some stratus out there that's hanging around. And right now, it's starting to break up a little bit, but it's here and there. And you get some droplets in there that could form to be flurries or even even super cool droplets, ones that are actually below freezing too. So when they touch the ground, they can cause some problems. So we have a little bit of that going out right now. Not much in the way of fog out there, but still, Overall, radar is not going to pick up a lot of this because it is very fine, very fine flurries or even mist, too, that continues to go on right now there. That is not the one that we want to look at, do we? But uh, here we go there. Forecast for today, like I said, this is for Madison. We can look at the temperature is going to get up to about 31 degrees. We're going to somehow struggle to get rid of that clouds, but the afternoon sun hopefully will come out but it likely we'll see this cloud cover once again, something there. And for lacrosse, you want to time out, go in the old Space Invaders look here. we got temperatures that should warm up fairly good. They'll have less clouds up there, mid-20s with the average temperature right now, as you see them behind me, is 25. So overall, they'll see many less clouds. I'll time out when we'll actually see more of the sun and if we'll hit 40 next week, along with our next chance of rain a bit later in the broadcast. Okay, Greg, thanks. The House of Representatives finally has a new speaker. It took more than a dozen votes to elect Kevin McCarthy. CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette reports on the historic late night voting in Washington. Kevin McCarthy of the state of California has received 216. It took 15 votes, but finally Kevin McCarthy got the support he needed from his fellow Republicans to become Speaker of the House. It took a little longer than we thought. But um, if there's one thing I want the country to hopefully learn about me this week is that I will never give up. The next speaker of the 118th Congress, Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy claimed the speaker's gavel after midnight, culminating four days of disarray and dissension in the chamber not seen since the Civil War. The infighting led to harsh words on the House floor during the 14th vote. McCarthy had to flip more than a dozen conservatives to give him the majority he needed. And now the hard work begins. What we do here today, next week, next month, next year, will set the tone for everything that follows. So help you God. Congratulations. Newly elected members of Congress were sworn in, but a debate and vote on a rules package was delayed until Monday. In a demonstration that there can be quick progress in Washington, this sign was hung early Saturday at the Capitol, recognizing the new speaker. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. The House adjourned until 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday. All right, to get some consumer news this morning, Southwest says its recent service meltdown over the holidays is going to cost the airline at least $725 million, and that could go up to $825 million. In a financial filing issued on Friday, the airline said this will cause the company to report a loss in its fourth quarter. Southwest canceled more than 16,000 flights between December 21st and the 29th.
Peloton has agreed to pay $19 million for failing to report unsafe treadmills and distributing recalled ones. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says it's one of the largest civil penalties in its history. The U.S. jobs market ended 2022 on a high note. According to the monthly employment report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the U.S. economy added 223,000 jobs in December, capping off an especially strong year of job growth. In total, the economy added nearly 4.5 million jobs in 2022. And Ram has unveiled an electric pick pickup truck concept with three rows of seats. The Ram 1500 Revolution concept truck was unveiled this week at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Its so-called third row jump seats fold out from the back wall, while the second row of seats slide forward to make more space. 834 yesterday, lawmakers paused to remember a dark day in U.S. history. Two years ago, a mob of rioters staged an attack on the U.S. Capitol. Five officers died as a result of those riots, and 140 officers were seriously hurt. Deborah Alfarone has more. Members of Congress gathered to mark the second year since the U.S. Capitol insurrection. Brian David Sicknick. The names of five officers who were lost as a result of the tragic events were read, and another officer who was killed at a Capitol checkpoint. Officer Billy Evans. A moment of silence followed in tribute to the 140 officers who were seriously injured defending democracy. We will never forget their sacrifice, and we will never forget this day. We the people honor U.S. Capitol Police Officer Caroline Edwards. At the White House, President Biden honored some of the officers there that day. He also recognized election workers who became targets of harassment and local officials who affirmed the results of the election. We honor a remarkable group of Americans who embodied the best before, during, and after January the 6th. 2021. There were few arrests on January 6th, but the FBI moved fast, seizing cell phone records and compiling thousands of hours of video in what may be the most documented crime in U.S. history. At least 950 people have been charged so far, nearly half of whom have either pleaded guilty or been convicted. These people are not going to take it any longer. Former President Trump could also face charges after an 18-month probe. The U.S. House January 6th committee referred him to the Justice Department for prosecution, alleging he incited the insurrection. Trump denies any wrongdoing and has already launched his campaign to run for president in 20. 2024. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Capitol Hill. The estate of U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, who died a day after the riots, is suing former President Trump for wrongful death. And Buffalo Bills, they say safety DeMar Hamlin has had his breathing tube removed and is talking. The 24-year-old was able to talk to his family and teammates yesterday. Hamlin has been hospitalized since suffering an on-field cardiac arrest following a hit during Monday Night Football against the Cincinnati Bengals. That's great news. And at Lambeau Field in Green Bay, the number three on the field at the 30-yard line outlined in blue as a way to sh so show support for Hamlin. It's one of several tributes happening this weekend across the NFL. That is great news to hear. All right, still ahead this morning, a big game for the Badgers today as they're on the road. It's going to be a big one. We've got a preview coming up in just a bit. PB. PB and J. PB before we go. P before we go. P before we go. <laughs> huh. See you tomorrow? Yeah. How you sleep uh -oh. sets your entire life in motion. So live your best life by getting your best sleep on a Doctor's Choice mattress. The perfect combination of support and comfort. In fact, I've been recommending it to my patients for over 20 years. Visit us in-store or online and discover all the benefits of Doctor's Choice only at Denver Mattress. Wisconsin. It's easy to take for granted how we warm up. But what if you couldn't warm up so easily? For many, it's a reality they can't ignore. Working families, elderly, 
Disabled and veterans struggling to keep their heat and power on in the dangerous cold of winter. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safe in your home. No one deserves to suffer when we can help each other. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. InventHelp has helped over 10,000 inventors get patents. You can meet with an InventHelp representative who will keep your idea confidential and explain their invention process step by step. And InventHelp's data bank includes over 9,000 companies who have agreed to review new ideas. Take action and get the help you need from InventHelp. 800-550-5543. Alice loves the scent of gain so much, she wished there was a way to make it last longer. <clears throat> Say hello to your fairy godmother, Alice, and long-lasting gain scent beads. Try gain odor defense, be gone, smelly, everything. Reynolds Wrap makes this whole cooking and cleanup thing so easy. Speeds up this, so I can get to them. Easy prep, cook and clean with Reynolds Wrap. Morning. Who said that? Whoa, where did that come from? <gasps> Floating money. Funny. <laughs> Good luck out there. News 3 Now's call for action team gets results. We're taking action for you. Nearly 700 cases closed. More than a half million dollars recovered. And we're not finished yet. When you need help, call for action only on News 3 Now. I'm News 3 Now's Josh Spreider. I'm visiting the people, places, and events that make this area one of a kind. Tell me what inspires you, and it might be featured on News 3 Now this morning. In the 608, weekdays on News 3 Now this morning. Just a little traffic going on. We have down towards Janesville. There was a crash on the interstate. It's on the left shoulder. Doesn't seem to be impacting traffic too much, but there are some slick roads being reported with that little, very fine light snow that's been falling in some of the areas. Something to keep in mind of. Cloud covers the big stories today. We'll see a breakup hopefully by this afternoon, but otherwise we'll see temperatures there climb back up. You see visibility right now, not too bad. Overall, a little bit of fog, but most of it's low clouds. As we plan out, we'll start off in the 20s, and then we should start climbing here as we get closer to the afternoon hours into the upper 20s near Madison, more for the mid 20s for La Crosse. Cloud cover will break off in here. If we don't see a break, it's going to redevelop once again this afternoon and overnight. So we'll probably wake up tomorrow morning with that, along with maybe some flurries or a little bit of light snow once again going towards the Sunday morning. But overall, quiet conditions really, besides the low clouds, dry until we get to about the middle of next week with maybe 40s for southern Wisconsin by Tuesday or Wednesday. All right, Greg, thank you. Today, the reigning Big Ten champs and current leaders of the conference hit the road to face a struggling Illini team. Illinois is 0-3 in league play, and they're coming off a 13-point loss to Northwestern. But the game is in Champaign, a place where Wisconsin hasn't won since 2019, and no Badger on the current roster has beaten the Illini, something they hope to change today. I don't think we've beat Illinois since I've been here yet. Um, we struggled at their place a little bit, but uh, we're up for the challenge. Uh, next game is the most important game, so we're definitely looking forward to it, and it's going to be a test for sure. It should be a crazy game. Um, we're coming in there ranked, and they've been struggling a little bit, so they're going to be playing hard, and they're going to they're gonna want to knock us off, so it should be a really good game in, in a fun environment. Well, the Bucks were back home at Pfizer Forum hosting the Charlotte Hornets, who came into the game with a 11 and 28 record. The Hornets scored 51 points in the first quarter. Didn't look back either. They blow out the Bucks 138 to 109. Milwaukee drops to 25 and 14 on the year. High school girls hoops now. Sun Prairie West hosting La Follette in a Big Eight battle. Lancers one of one of the best bucket getters in the state. Alina West was at it again. She takes it to the cup for two. La Follette jumped out to an early lead, though, but SP West always had an answer in this one. Quick ball movement finds Marie Outley. She banks it home to cut the lead to three. Then later in the half, it's Outley again, this time dishing it to Micaiah Hawk for three the old-fashioned way. Wolves go on to win this one, 57-40. to 40. Big boys matchup, fourth-ranked Mineral Point taking on number eight, Cuba City. 
All Cubans early in this one. Max Lucy dials up from deep, and the triple makes it a six-point Cuba City lead. But then came the Eli Lindsay show. Some bully ball down low for the tough two to get the pointers back in this one. And then on the next possession, they feed him again. Mineral Point makes it four straight over their rival with a 67 to 58 win. Well, this weekend will mark the first time since November 20th that the Wisconsin women's hockey team will play in the Laban when they host Minnesota Duluth. That's almost 50 days in between home games. And when it comes to playing on their home ice, the Badgers, they simply don't lose. This season, they're 7-0-1. And when asked about being back home today and tomorrow in front of their fans, Nicole Lamantia couldn't help but smile. I'm really excited. Um, you know, going into my last half of the season of my career, I think it's really bittersweet. Home games are getting to those times where they're bittersweet. So um, really happy to be home, happy to have my family to come up and, um, you know, just really excited to be in the Le bon. you know, Our fans mean a lot to us. Should be a good one today and tomorrow for the Badgers. All right, still ahead, a fun contest here in Madison to help the city name its snow plows. You're taking a live look over a foggy capital this morning. Greg's keeping an eye on that traffic for you. He's got a forecast when we're back. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. This holiday season at the Century House. Give $50 or more to charity and get $200 off any stressless recliner with power, any stressless recliner in ottoman, or any stressless office chair. Or get $200 off each stressless sofa seat or $400 off all stressless Mayfair recliners and ottomans in all Paloma leather colors. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Hey, do you want to join our rewards program? Collect hot dog points to unlock access to our VIP lounge. That doesn't seem very... Rewarding. With a BMO Savings Builder account, you get a cash reward for every month you save. Wait, so you're going to reward me for saving my own money? You got it. A little incentive to help you get into the habit of saving. That sounds great, but do you have VIPs? Yeah, absolutely. We call them customers. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. With thyroid eye disease, I hid from the camera, and I wanted to hide from the world. For years, I thought my TED was beyond help. But then, I asked my doctor about Tepeza. Tepeza is the only medicine that treats TED at the source, not just the symptoms. In a clinical study, more than 8 out of 10 patients taking Tepeza had less eye bulging. Tepeza is an infusion. Patients taking Tepeza may have infusion reactions. Tell your doctor right away if you experience high blood pressure, fast heartbeat, shortness of breath, or muscle pain. Before getting Tepeza, tell your doctor if you have diabetes, IBD, or are pregnant or planning to become pregnant. Tepeza may raise blood sugar even if you don't have diabetes and may worsen IBD such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. Now, I'm ready to be seen again. Visit mytepeza.com to find a TED eye specialist and to see Bridget's before and after photos. All right, team, we got a big project coming up. And it all starts with ordering promotional products. I'm on it. For Imprint makes it easy to get the logo products you're looking for. The latest in apparel, drinkware, bags, high-tech items, and more. You can be certain of getting it right at 4imprint.com. Come on out. I'm on it. For Imprint. For certain. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today.
Yeah, typically January is one of our coldest months, especially how many days we get below zero, but this January has been the exception. And even if you look extended beyond the next seven days through about almost the 20th of January, we're still favoring for above average temperatures. So that's the positive news and actually above average precipitation. So that's the thing that we're not gonna be anywhere near a lot of sub-zero temperatures. What we do will deal with a lot in January, regardless of that, is inversions, which we got kind of right now, and that's a stubborn thing to really get rid of because the sun is such a low angle, it's hard to actually get rid of some of these low clouds that do form under it. It's saturated, so you get some of that fine flurries, even maybe some droplets mist out there with it too. So that's what we're gonna deal with probably for the next couple days, at least overnight in the morning hours, and hopefully we can break that and get sun in the afternoon. Not a huge travel threat, but still something to keep in mind of. Patchy fog, it's more just low clouds, and then off and on, a little bit of a snow here or there, even tonight. Shouldn't accumulate, but once again, something to keep in mind of as you go about. Otherwise, you see at the big picture, we just have cloud cover, real light flow winds going on. What you're going to watch through as we get to today and tonight is there's going to be a system come up from the south. Most of that's going to stay to the south of the area, but it could spread enough to really enhance maybe a little bit more of the light snow or flurries overnight, especially further south and east to go. Shouldn't amount to anything, but once again, it's something to keep in mind of. Tomorrow might see more sun, but then we got another weak little system. Kind of hard to see it out here, but that's going to come through once again, provide more cloud cover, probably high cloud cover. So we're going to see the sun this weekend, but just here and there a little bit. For today, we're going to start seeing, like I said, there's a few breaks through this afternoon. You'll start seeing that happen. Further west you go from La Crosse, better shot over in La Rochester. You're going to see more sun, but overall, we're just going to see it. temperatures get up to the low 30s in southern Wisconsin, more mid-20s La Crosse, and upper teens as you go further west for today. As we go through this afternoon and then tonight, we'll probably once again see the cloud cover, and you might see a little bit of that flurry activity start to pull northward as we get overnight. See temperatures then fall down, and as we get towards tomorrow morning, should be a little bit warmer, at least most of the areas, especially west of La Crosse, because we're going to have more cloud cover, so I don't think like Rochester will be below zero as you wake up tomorrow morning, but still in the single digits. Overall, for the next system we've mentioned, Wednesday and Thursday, that's going to be lifting up from southwest to northeast from Wednesday night to Thursday. Not a very strong system either, and we'll probably stay on the warm side of this. This gives you an idea. Precipitation through Thursday and then probably exits by Friday morning. How much snow? Not much. Really, right now, it's going to be more rain, so the chance of greater than three inches from basically Thursday onto Friday is going to be further north, but even that right now is spotty too. So it doesn't look to be anything that, to keep an eye on right now, but something we'll, we'll monitor in case it does get stronger. Otherwise, we should see temperatures in, like I said, the mid upper 30s by the Cross, which is once again above average with that next system coming lesser in the fog or the clouds up there the more but something to keep an eye on and then Madison we could get 40 degrees here by the middle of next week and that system coming Thursday Friday too all right let's keep an eye on Greg thank you mm -hmm. as always well hey the city of Madison calling all you dad joke lovers and creative pun enthusiasts as McKenna Alexander explains a citywide contest is asking residents to name four snowplow trucks Plows and puns is the name of the game this week as the city of Madison is asking residents to come up with the most creative and funny names for city equipment. So we hit Capitol Square to find out what you would name a snowplow. What would you name a snowplow? <laughs> a snow snowplow name. Do you have one? How long did it take everyone else to come up with these? Around the same time as you guys. I thought I'd call it the Pounder. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, the battering ram. Sir doesn't plow a lot in around the square. <laughs> That's the best I got. I mean, how about Ed? It's a good name. Yeah, it's I a think good name. That's a great name. All they right. Sure I'll be named Ed. Maybe cheese scarves? You have one? No. Tomorrow night is my birthday party, and we were going to do that for our party game, is think of snowplow names. You have to make sure you submit them. You still have a week to oh, submit Oh, we them. will submit them. With a week left to vote, there's still plenty of time to think of your best pun. I know I am. In Madison for News 3 Plow, I'm McKenna Alexander. Does it get more Wisconsin than having a birthday party and naming snowplow trucks? The answer is no. No, it does not. Well, you have until 4 p.m. on January 13th to submit as many suggestions as you'd like. To do so, just email your idea to drop off at cityofmadison.com. All right, coming up, a bit of luck in Luck, Wisconsin. We're back after this.
we've been together for so long. Now it could be the end. Fortunately, you took your six sewing machine to the Electric Needle. They have the skills to fix most machines within seven to ten days. Find sewing success at the Electric Needle on the frontage road of Seminole Highway. Tobacco can end lives long before it kills you. Quit today so you have a tomorrow. Call the Wisconsin Tobacco Quit Line at 1-800-QUIT-NOW. How you sleep uh -oh. sets your entire life in motion. So live your best life by getting your best sleep on a doctor's choice mattress. The perfect combination of support and comfort. In fact, I've been recommending it to my patients for over 20 years. Visit us in store or online and discover all the benefits of Doctor's Choice only at Denver Mattress. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line? You'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Not attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. If you or a loved one were stationed at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune between 1953 and 1987 and were later diagnosed with cancer, Parkinson's disease, or other serious health effects, call right now. Call 1-800-336-0524. Congratulations! It's a new sewing machine from the Electric Needle. It's more accurate than older models and has hassle-free threading. Plus, it comes with free unlimited owner's lessons. Find sewing success at the Electric Needle. Frontage Road off Seminole Highway. Mission Unstoppable, Saturday morning at 9. Finally this morning, no one won the Mega Millions last night, but someone had some luck in Luck, Wisconsin. Here's Adam Duxter. <laughs> 1,119 people, $15.1 million, and one store manager, somebody was lucky, who still can't believe it. It shows up that congratulations to Wayne's Foods in Luck, Wisconsin, selling a $15 million megabucks ticket. I was looking for my ticket, but I didn't have one. In a place this small, everybody knows somebody. Certainly, someone has to know the winner. My mother asked me if I bought a lottery ticket here, <laughs> and I wish I would have known because I would have tricked her, but no, I did not buy one here. Two Powerball and two Mega Millions. Unfortunately for us, I'd have so much fun giving it away. It wasn't Mary Marlette. <laughs> or I'd leave my house open, walk away, and send some postcards. This guy. <laughs> but rather very community oriented. They care about each other. This village hopes their luck is just getting started. It'd be nice if somebody would do something for the community a little bit to help out and maybe not like a charity thing, but just uh, just kind of improve some of the businesses around here. And as great as $15 million is, let's not forget the Mega Millions drawing is currently over $900 million. So if photojournalist Tom and I aren't at work come next week, don't come looking for us. Oh, to be lucky in luck. Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. Only takes one, Greg. I know. You didn't, I didn't win. win. No, I didn't. No. But uh, I'll try again. <laughs> we all should try again. Yes. All right, before we go, one final check of the weather. Well, it looks like I said, you got the low clouds out there, some flurries, some issues that you might have with roads out there to the Janesville area, some slick spots. But I think we'll see more sun this afternoon, just how much is still yet to be kind of determined, depending where you are. And that's the things to look out for today. Seasonal temperatures through next week, dry until Wednesday night and Thursday, the next system. So just keep in mind the fog and the low clouds out there. All right, thank you very much. Thank you for waking up with us. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.